Hello there, I'm Andrew Lindsay of Moving Up Media. I'm here with Director of Paper Shrink, Elizabeth Bellal, and she's going to tell us about some of the benefits of Store and Scan. So, the benefits of Store and Scan, please, Hello, Elizabeth. Andrew. Hello. Hi. Um, store and Scan is the service we offer our customers who do not want to have a big archive project done in one go. So either because they don't want to pay for it all in one go or yep. they can't afford to have it done in all in one go. So what we do is collect all the paperwork. For example, let's say you have 150 boxes of paperwork yep. uh, scattered across your offices and in your warehouse. You can collect all at once, yep. giving you your space back okay. instantly. And then we store the, the boxes and we will scan them on a schedule that we've agreed previously. So okay. for example, if you say to me, um, do it all in a year, yep. we'll do it all in a year, we'll spread 150 boxes divided by 12 months and spread the yep. cost along with it. Okay, I, I just need to ask one question, we, um, how many boxes, is there a minimum of two, could it be a bit, literally one box? So no, well, one box you wouldn't want to spread it really. No, <laughs> no, but you have yeah. no, understand. No, there isn't, so there's no minimum. There's no minimum, no maximum? There's no minimum, no maximum. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to spread the cost over too long a period of time. Yeah. But no, it's okay. up to you. It's an agreement between you and I. Okay, so obviously we've just talked about the, the schedule. It mm -hmm. obviously brings us on to how long can you spread the cost for. So is that a, is that a month, two months, six months? And tell me about it, how that goes. It will be, what we'll do is we will invoice at the rhythm at which we scan. Okay. So, for example, let's say you are a, an accountant yep. and we scan your client files. Yes. Like most companies, you'll probably have the top 20% of your customers who keep coming back all the okay, time. Yep. Those files you will want very quickly. So yep. you might want to do 20% all in the first month. Okay. We'll do those, we'll invoice them, and then the rest of the time you might wish to have it done over 18 months. Gotcha. Okay. And then right. we will spread it equally. Some of the files you might not even want to scan at all. Because okay. those who've left that you never likely to retrieve the information for, yep. we could just leave the boxes on ourselves and charge you a storage cost instead of a scanning cost. Right, gotcha. Okay. And that just neatly brings us on to self self indexing. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about that, please. Um, okay. Indexing, Andy, is the way that we attach information to the electronic documents to allow you to get to your files quickly. So that top 20% you were talking about earlier. Yes. So, for example, um, you're Andy Lindsay, moving up media, and let's say I've done your tax or you've yeah. done, you've had your tax done yeah. for 2010. Those are three um, levels of information that, that you might want to retrieve Peter Smith, ABC, plumbing, and, and so and, forth. And so forth, that's it. So, if normally, if we do the indexing, we will type that information in and attach it to the files. We okay. might build a folder structure and so on to, so that you can get to the information quickly. Self indexing, you will do that. Either you do it ahead of time in a spreadsheet, send yeah. us the spreadsheet along with the documents, and when we do scan, we'll marry them both together. Uh, okay, yeah. Or, you haven't got time to do that, and you didn't do it when you put all the information in boxes. Yep. So you, we just collect the boxes. When we get to scanning it, we'll scan them file by file, okay. and we will just send you electronic documents with a numerical sequence as the name of the file, and then you can open them, see what they are, slot them in the right place on your okay. server, and call the files what you want them to call. Okay, so that's a good way of kind of. Um, saving a few pennies because you're doing mm -hmm. it yourself. Yep. I suspect the answer that I'm going to ask you next is it may feel like you're saving a few pennies but would it be better to obviously bring it to you in a, in a manner where it would be quicker to index you could index it because obviously then you don't have to go to shifting through all of them. Is that what you're trying to say? It's, it's quicker if we index it but also if, you, if you've done a spreadsheet before that is the right way to do it because okay. By doing that, at the same time, we're doing a check uh, of ah, what okay. you're doing. So that will so, save you a long time. Yes, uh, and, and yeah. it will allow us to say to you, well, actually, you thought you had those files in that box, but you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this right. is what you had instead. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes sense. So that's good. Thank you, Elizabeth. I think we've answered a few questions there. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Some more information on the screen now.